Good morning, YouTube. It's been a while. Let's go and do that walk in the garden and see what I got in the last, I don't even know how many show. A lot. I've been bad. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Don't forget to press that like button. Okay. My musical team is here singing their songs. It's actually over there. Somewhere. I just saw him there. There's a red. Where is he? Right there. See him? Okay. So what's happening? Lots of plants. It's disastrous. I need to start that orchid uh, addicts like easy peasy. So, but let's get down to. Oh my god. That's as usually starting problems. Okay, so what did I get? And what's in bloom? This one was. I really, really liked it. Was a little bit. Where's the sun? It's hard to find the sun this morning. From Sunset Valley. So this one was from Sunset Valley. Really cutesy putsy baby. Little Catlia. This is snowstorm and snowflake that's what we're missing in florida really small really pretty and then this was supposed to be my show and tell table <clears throat> it's so out of control that <coughs> here look there's the whole box that i got from i didn't even touch it yet i took them out of the plastic that's all i did these are all from Norman orchids. I got some. Look, there's a spike on it. Beautiful. One from Moats. Julian Shaw. Uh, the greatest news. This is for my mom. I noticed that many of his plants did not have the name tags. They had the number tag, but okay. And then there's this beautiful Tetraspis. Something was special about it. I don't remember what, but anywho. Uh, the good news is I tested all the plants that I got and they're all uh, this is from Sarasota Show. There's all negative. Love, love, love that fact. This is from uh, Suncos, Florida Suncos. He made this cross. I don't know if I showed it in the video. It's a beautiful. Anything with George King is beautiful. These are really cool. I'm sure he will have them at Venice Show. So if you guys are interested now this ginormousness ah, okay all of them are falling down look at this this is why you join societies and participate in the raffle this is what i brought home from the raffle table it's doing really well i need to repot about 500 plants <sighs> This is the name. These guys bloom like crazy. So, and very happy about it. And then there's a whole bunch of my new, as you can see, another box from Springwater Tan. I, of course, visited him and got the new Pathy. Venosmum. I had one. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's why they're called Venosmums. Still opening. It <clears throat> literally opened a couple of days ago. Or like a day ago. One. And then there was another one. But from Tant Spring Water. Your best source of Pathiopidulums. It's a little bit. 
dead, let's call it. Um, but it was super cute and yellow. You don't see so many yellow in Pathopidolum world. Okay, what else is here? Then there was this wonderful Roxy girl with her baskets. There's one and there's one right here. She makes them. This is a 3D printing. Orchids 365. Guys, if you are interested, you can find her all over the place. Orchids 365. She also has a YouTube channel. Look how cool this one is. Chameleon. We and it's plastic, so if you are suspicious about new stuff, we use plastic all the time. It's just a beautiful plastic. So I got one more basket right here. It's still being just a container for the plants that should be repotted. This I got from that gentleman. Uh, remember the laboratory something in Charm? There. So these needs to be as ASAP repotted. Then then there's this little thing that is out of control there. Okay, and then there was one more. Also from Sunset Valley. I mean, <clears throat> I cannot even, I don't want to even tell you <laughs> how many more I got. We had the speaker, John. Uh, Boudry, I love the guy, and he had amazing plans. That was his gift to Martha Aggregatum, but he said this is some kind of famous Aggregatum. This is one. Then I got this from him. Speciosum. I mean, and then I got... <laughs> what else? Oh, there was something else from John. I think it's over there. Let's go there. Look at this amazing view. Tessa, oh my god, Tessa's face right there. Tessa, you enjoying your morning? Yeah. <laughs> She's my favorite, the funniest, of course. Okay, that's the helpers. So, what else did I get from? Oh, I got this humongous -ness from John as well. Where are we going to put you? Right here. Why did I get it? His prices were simply irresistible. I believe this one was $40. And it's huge, Florida, as one famous speaker used to say. Okay, what else is here? Oh, there was one that was given to Martha. It's already done blooming, so... There's lots of excitement here. There's lots of new um, things happening in here. Uh, Vandas are not in like proper order. We've been hit with these cold waves like crazy. Again, tonight it will be 45. So I'll have to bring all my Vandas inside. And uh, as it is, you know, living experience with all the orchids, it's... I figured out who doesn't like cold now. Not only the Vandas, but I noticed I've lost probably one Dendrobium and one Bulbo that I wasn't sure of. See this Dendrobium? It probably will come back, but it lost everything. Like, literally. These are the cold damage. So if you are curious. We'll see. I didn't even know it had a tag. Okay, so. Other damages. Um, of course, I got some um, new bulb of films for Wilson. You've seen that one at Tamayami. Also still needs to be repotted. One of those is Vicky's. Couple of... Uh, what are they called, those Terret Vandas? Forgot. And Tolumnius from... From... 
Okay, brain. Hamlin. <laughs> now this area, Paffy's, some did not like the switch back and forth. I was taking them on site for the cold and the sun. I am positive it's going to die. And I don't think there's nothing I can do at this point. But some are doing really well, producing spikes. There's two spikes here. These are bread runs. This is exciting. You can see the leaves didn't like it. This one is going crazy with her spike happening right here. Uh, that one has a spike. This one has a spike. So Phalaenopsis love these cold, not too cold of a spurs. I hear the truck. We still have my trees. Two of my humongous oaks are still laying by the road. And I hear the truck. The one that picks up. I saw them this morning. Oh, this is one more from John. Just opening. It's going to be beautiful blonde. FC Puddle. Okay. Yeah, and uh, the, where are you? My champion. My champion is hiding. Look how cute. Can you not like Pephyrpidolums? They're total and complete um, aliens. I'm looking for sun, if you're wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> right here. Beautiful. So, as you can see, lots of things happening here. Now, let's talk about the shows. I am not going to reopen my website for now. I had lots of requests. My house still is pretty much in pieces. Not many improvements so far. Waiting for all these permits. Then the county and, you know, the... Construction people are absolutely not in the rush, but at this point we are uh, more or less comfortable. The new AC unit was installed. That is a life changer. So um, I'm going to be doing the shows only, but they are mostly local. And then I added, oh, you are one happy camper. So... This weekend, West Coast Orchid Society, Seminole, which is uh, area of St. Pete. Next weekend, February 4th, I believe, is Venice Orchid Society, okay? One of the best shows ever. Oh, look at my Shilleriana opened. She's up high there. I think it's her last bloom because the plant looks really bad. She did not like all this traveling. So, Venice. Then we have a little break and we see Raphael Plantillo. I'll be there for his open house the end of February. My girl from Sarasota Society show from Aquagenera. She's so beautiful. And there's the name. That's dendrobium that looks like Catley, I call it, so. <laughs> so, Raphael, an open house, Plantillo, in Sarasota. Strongly recommend. Uh, very nice event, always. Very relaxing and a great variety of whatever you like. There's my Vanda and my Star. I need to make those from Brethren, of course. I know he has lots of those for sale. And, um, you look weird, but you have a spike. And then I've decided to do something different this year, which will be a trip and participation in Key West Orchid Show on my birthday. 
with Martha. We're going to be in Key West from March 3rd to March 5th. Okay, so if you are in the area, please stop by. It's the one of the most famous areas of Florida, Key West. Then I'm going to be at the Palmer Open House, March 10th through 12th. Mr. Wilbur Chang is not participating in this party. I mean, he's doing pretty well, but there are no blooms. Uh, and then a new venue for me, Gulf Coast Orchid Society, or Orchid Alliance, I'm sorry, where I'm going to be a vendor. That's Naples, and that's uh, mid-March. Look at my beautiful cymbidium my goodness and so if you thought that's it it's not then i will be a part of sunken garden which is april 2nd just one day show in saint pete and to finish this wonderful lineup like the best possible way i'll be a vendor at crowsmith april event I am not going to lie about the date, but I will tell you it's a weekend following Easter. So, here it is, guys. And trust me, I did not tell you about a couple plants because I just don't know where they are. They're all over the place. I'm cracking uh, my clay as crazy as possible. And just no pressure right on the top of it i'm working as well okay and then there's this this is one of the plants from norman that had no tag so if you guys have an idea please let me know it's blooming how cute so this is it for today now uh we're gonna have next the this is my disaster shelf um this weekend west coast orchid society you will have a video of the display and vendors and all that good stuff it's a really fun show a uh, little bit different line of vendors at that show uh then well you know them but it's a little different area so a little bit different um list but um accent will be there Art Stone will be there, I believe. I don't know. Maybe not, because uh, he told me they're not doing shows anymore. So we'll sh we shall see. Ah, by the way, I made this mount. Somehow, all the orchids didn't like this piece of wood. But I am believing in my brethren powers. So the glad start went on it. It's a very pretty thing. And I have the uh, air plants on it so yeah so i hope to see you one of these events we're going to be talking about them more as we approach and i hear the truck coming my way and if you're going to tell me they're going to pick up my stuff nope they just gonna drive by okay so maybe they need to unload and here's the crew tessa is still in her uh, look at her. Nobody loves Tessa. No, nobody loves you. Okay, so I hope you had a good uh, walk through with me, my guilty trip. And as this is the oldest. And then, of course, yeah, the one and only. <laughs> so until the next time, guys, talk to you soon.